That's Jane G. Gibbs with the Sasquatch people. Hi there. In 2017, I started a gifting interaction with the Sasquatch people up the cabin. I'd like to show you a little bit about how that went. Are you ready? I got back to check the gifting stuff and I had left five marbles in that shell. They had taken the big one out and left it outside the shell. So I know they have touched that marble and then they left it back for me. I learned the marble gifting from Sasquatch, Ontario. They had a psychic on the show and she talked about them being in the marbles. That's what they told her psychically. And they wanted to be one with us and they want us to uh, be in the marbles too. Perplexing. I researched a guru who confirmed that shaman can put their energy into an object, especially glass or granite or crystal. And so theoretically they could leave their energy in the marble. The first gift I received from them was one piece of deer scat on top of a stump. It took me a week to realize that that was a, an unnatural place to see deer scat. It's always on the ground. It, how would it get on top of a stump? So once I figured that out, I realized it was something they had placed there. All the gifts they've given have been all natural. And they seem to have an aversion to plastics and uh, mechanical devices. The second gift I received from them was a thistle placed on the stump and was fresh right when I got up there. Things they've given back to me is marbles. I will give them marbles and then I will get some of those marbles back. And I keep those as being special. And I also came back and found that they had left two jugs that they had brought back for me and they were filled with water. So that was quite a surprise. I've been testing and drinking the water that they gave back to me and I put a light underneath the big marble that they gave back to me. I have made mistakes in this gifting process with them. First mistake uh, it's hard to recognize what their gifts are sometimes. Uh, mostly the first one being a deer scat, you know, who knows, I did not recognize it. The second being the thistle, I recognized it, but then I didn't pick it up. Especially if you're watching, you know, they give you something, pick it up and, and you know, smile and maybe wave and then, you know, uh, someplace special or keep it. Then, uh, I sometimes don't pay attention to what they, the subtleties of the gifting with the marbles uh, and the water. You want to keep track of what you've given and what you get back. I, I did get back three jugs of water from them. I wasn't sure about two of them because I couldn't remember if I had three or five out by the wood pile. Uh, but then there was two more in the cabin, so I knew that it should have been three, and all of a sudden there was five. So I the two that I thought they had returned and took them back to Seattle with me. The last mistake I made was the last trip. I went up there, and because of Sasquatch, Ontario, I put up a 
camera in the gifting stump and a fresh battery inside the camera. When I got back a week later, the camera had been thrown to the ground and they drained the battery. The shell was on the ground. The stump was slightly broken, not destroyed, but there was, there was a little break in the stump that wasn't there before. So I don't think they liked the fact that the camera in there. My idea was for them to take the camera and use it to take their own pictures, you know, like Sasquatch selfie. And that was from Sasquatch Ontario. Uh, but they did not like that. They thought I was trying to catch them. And I really regret putting that in there. And I hope they're not too pissed off at me for that. But I'm going back up pretty soon, I'll find out. <laughs>